what you guys today we're taking a look at five common computer myths that people still believe in 2021 the first one is if your computer is slow it's always a virus and that's simply not the case in most cases it could be down to a lot of different reasons low-end hardware that you're using if you're using an old computer and you're trying to do something in the modern day with some modern software or modern day task it will make the pc seem a lot slower Faulty hardware could be the problem as well. Having faulty hardware can cause the PC to go really slow, like bad hard drive or something like that. Also, corrupt operating system. Having a corrupt operating system is another big reason for having a slow computer. Bad drivers could be another reason for having a slow computer. Or having too many programs running in the background. This can slow up the computer quite drastically. And they're probably some of the more common reasons. There's quite a few other reasons as well. And it isn't always down to viruses or malware on the system. The second myth is Macs or Linux don't need antivirus software and they don't get infected. This is simply not the case. Let's take a look at some Linux malware or ransomware here. It can infect a Linux operating system. And you can see there's a long list of viruses and Trojans and stuff like that. They can get for Linux. Tycoon ransomware is one of them here. And you can see uh, Lilocked ransomware, QNAP Crypt, and there's a bunch of other stuff that you can get for uh, Linux-based systems. Kill Disk ransomware as well, as you can see. And there's quite a few others. Now, also in the Mac world, there is quite a few infections that you can get for Mac as well. So they are not immune to being infected. Uh, it's just the fact that Windows operating systems have a larger piece of the pie and uh, creators of malware tend to go for Windows more than they do uh, Mac and Linux in 2021. But they can still get infected, just as you can see here. Long list of stuff for Mac as well. And as you can see, Gravity Rat is quite a nasty uh, infection uh, for Mac systems. There's quite a few nasty ones out there. So be very careful and don't believe everything you hear from people saying that Mac and also Linux can't get infected. The third myth is having a higher powered a wattage power supply uses more electricity and this simply isn't the case if you've got a computer one with a 500 watt bronze power supply installed drawing 300 watts of power and on computer two you've got 850 watt bronze power supply installed drawing 300 watts of power both will draw the same amount of power so the power supply will only draw the amount of power that it needs to run that system now there may be a small difference when it comes to power supply efficiencies i.e whether you're using an 80 plus white label, an 80 plus a bronze label, an 80 plus silver or 80 plus gold or 80 plus uh, platinum and even now 80 plus titanium. There was quite a few different uh, variants out there for efficiency ratings and you may see a reduced amount of electricity that is used when you're using one of these power supplies uh, because of the efficiency ratings on them. And you can read up about that. But the problem is when you start looking at how much the cost is for one of these high level power supplies, it sort of outweighs how much money you're going to save because they cost quite a lot of money to buy one of these higher level power supplies compared to an 80 plus bronze uh, power supply. As you can see with this Corsair AX1600i digital 80 plus titanium full modular power supply, it's £449.99 pence. Most people will never ever need this 1600 watt power supply. And if you're looking to buy this to save money on your electricity bill, well, the amount of money you're going to save will not be enough to cover the cost of the power supply. Let's move on to myth number four, which is frequent defragging is still a must in 2021. Now, if you own a modern computer, defragging is uh, something that you won't have to worry about in 2021. Uh, if you own a Windows based system, that is, it will defragment uh, itself automatically and you won't have to worry about it. Now, there is other reasons why you would not want to uh, defragment your drive, and that is because most people nowadays own a solid state drive and this doesn't need to be defragmented. It will use a trim command to basically uh, maintain itself. But you can see here, it doesn't mean that you can't defragment your mechanical drive if you wanted to manually, you could still go in like I'm showing you here and defragment that drive. And you can see it takes hardly any time at all to actually defrag 
uh, the drive. And that's because it's constantly being monitored and managed by Windows in the background. You can see it's took no time at all. This used to be a laborious task of defragmenting mechanical drives back in the day that used to take ages to completely defrag a drive. But nowadays you don't need to worry about that because Windows takes care of it for you. And this moves on to the next part of that question, which is basically people purchasing uh, software to manage uh, the uh, defragmentation of their hardware or drives on their system. You simply don't need to do that. Windows does a perfectly good job at defragmenting your uh, drives for you in the background. And I still see pointless software where people are buying it to defragment uh, their hard drives. You can see now zero uh, fragmented. That hard drive didn't take too long at all. And that was me manually doing it, whereas it's probably already done it in the background previously, and it didn't take much time to literally analyze and optimize that drive for us by defragging it. Let's move on to myth number five here, and that is screensavers that save your monitor screen from screen burn and things like that. Well, in the modern day, you don't necessarily need to worry so much about uh, screen savers and you can see them down here they're normally generally turned off uh, by default here you can see screen saver none now if you can remember back in the day when we used to have crt monitors uh, these would definitely need some sort of screen saver on them to stop them from having uh, screen burn on the screen now the screen savers used to look something like this where it will be moving about on the screen when you walk away from the monitor and the reason for that, this was to stop any sort of screen burn uh, burning into the screen itself. So if you had a static image there, which is your desktop, it will burn into the screen because CRT monitors had cathode ray uh, tubes in them, which is short for CRT. Now this comprises of individual pixels of red, blue and green, phosphor components, LCD and LED screens can also experience some image burn, though the image burn process can take longer to develop into a permanent issue. LCDs and LED screens suffer from another issue known as image retention, also known as image uh, persistence or an LCD shadow. And that's basically it. You may see some sort of blackening or whitening around the outer edge of those uh, screens. So screen savers today are probably a little redundant in 2021. Now that is five common computer myths that people still believe in 2021. Maybe that's because they've read some article online that's old, or maybe they've heard from someone else uh, that's been in IT for quite a while and just haven't uh, freshened up their knowledge and still believe a lot of this stuff to be the must do thing still to your computer in 2021. But other than that, I think that's going to be about it for this video. If you want to see more of this sort of content, let me know in the comment section below if you like this sort of stuff or if you want me to go back and do some sort of other type of content and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. Just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I would appreciate the support. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.